to the tape. Let's dive into the tape. Mike Rupp with a yogger like salute. Roll the tape. Rupp with a shot. He's got two goals for Mike Rupp. Look at him go. Tape to tape. Let's diggity dive right into the tape. All right, another edition of Tape Room. Yesterday we looked at the Detroit Red Wings and how good they are generating offense so far this year. And there's one of the teams that we're kind of talking about in that Atlantic division that could be pushing for a playoff spot and should be that's scoring a lot of goals too. Ottawa's been very impressive so far. For good reason. We're going to talk about them and the offensive outburst. Like, that's, that's there. It's waiting. They've got some pieces back, and all of a sudden, things are looking good. Guys are really confident with the puck right now. And that piece you're mentioning is Josh Norris. We saw and we know and we talked about it. He got his first goal in a very long time. Him being healthy makes this top six as legit as any top six, I think, in the National Hockey League. So I just want to go over some things. They're cooking. They're kind of like the Globetrotters. And when, that, when, a team, like, yeah. when a team enters that zone, you hear the music, little Globetrotter music. This is what I love. We call them the trotters right now. The puck movement. We're going to pause here. And it's about running routes, all right? So we know we were on a power play. But these are the things I like. Everyone's kind of feeling it. You get the puck here. And this is Sanderson. Watch the route up here. And if you stay right there and just get a flat pass, that makes it easy for the PK. But I love when guys position themselves to come downhill. And when you come downhill, you put this defenseman in a terrible spot. He's got to front you and roll it forward. This is an awesome play. Great execution. Come downhill. Come out, and then this beautiful feed behind the back pass to Norris. But I want to watch watch Kachuk here. Brady's so good at this. Brady's going to sit here. This puck's going to be the same pause as before. It's going to get moved out, and then you're going to have to draw Jensen out, and this is going to create that play for Batherson back door over here to Norris. But watch Brady run this pick. This is genius, man. I don't know if he thought this, if he just understands how to be an influence around the net, but roll this forward. You're going to have, watch this moving pick right here. Gets under, he gets body position between Kemper and Van Riemsdyk, lifts the stick, because he knows when that puck comes down goal line as the net front guy, you got to try to move out so you can get the seam across. Picks up the stick, goes through, he doesn't do enough to get a penalty, and opens up that lane. Look at this feed back door to Norris. Hey, hey, Ruffer, one more other point. So, Drake Batherson, that's Nick Jensen up there. He's a defenseman, so you understand there's Bring one Bring it back here again. You understand, is Batherson, that's a defenseman right here. Yeah. That's Nick Jensen. So you understand someone, this guy up here, Kuznetsov, he's got to he's got to he's got to bust back and get all the way back to that back post if I can get this thing through because I know there's already one defenseman out there. So there's just a guy. I know Brady Kachuk's going to do his job in front of the net. Good recognition by Bathurst. I mean, beautiful feed and set play. You know this going back door. I mean, they're so confident in the way they're moving the puck around. And this is just great work. Get in there on the forecheck, body up, win a puck battle. Roll it forward. You're going to have another puck battle coming up here. Get on your horse. Come in here. Put the body on him. Get it right there. Now you get a big another puck win. You're going to move it out front, and you're going to see a goal right here. Roll it. And this is going to be Norris getting his second goal. And these are the things. So we saw skill. We saw that type of, uh, of effort, and we saw it taking the body. Here's another one to D getting involved. Shabbat's going to come in here. Look at this hold right here. He's coming in here, getting involved. When you get the D, and they've got great D. We know they got Shabbat. They got Chikorin. They got Sanderson. They've got guys who can add that other element. Look at them coming in here. This feed, though. You know what? If we go back feed? and let's look at Shabbat's eyes, because Darcy Kemper, he's got to keep Kemper honest. He's got great vision. He can see him on the side, and he, he sees that lane. And at what point do you let go of it? Well, it's when you look up and that goaltender has come out to you because he thinks you're the primary shooter. Nothing Kemper can do there. What yeah, a pass. Nothing you can do. But watch this. Brady Kachuk right here, too. Bodying up and shielding. Faravari can't do anything to get back door. So another great play by Kachuk. So you've got the, the, the brute strength and the smarts of Brady Kachuk and the skilled puck movement from the rest of the squad. And this is just Sanderson taking the ice given. I mean, he's a confident young player, second year. He might be their best defenseman. And just grabs this, gets on his horse, and beats Ovi to the middle of the ice and roll it forward and snaps it home. This team is just cruising. That whistling, I'm sorry, guys. I know you're trying to watch this. That's annoying. But I wanted to do it. It's the Trotters. It's the Globe Trotters right now, the way these guys are playing. Yeah, it really is. They were, they were feeling it, and I think moving forward, there's nights that Ottawa is going to burst out and score a bunch of goals. Last, last night was a good example. This is a team that I think everyone in the East, you got to be a little worried to know that if your game's not buttoned up defensively, yeah, they made Washington look pretty silly. Yeah, they'll, they'll blow it open on you real quick. And the other part, too, is if they can find, I don't know if they're going to be able to keep up this five-goal-a-game type pace that they're on, but if they can get any kind of defense and goal scoring, which I think they're going to be better at, or sorry, any kind of defense of keeping the puck out of their net, this team's going to be very difficult to beat.